If the altitudes of a triangle meet at one of the triangle's vertices, then the triangle is... Okay, so what this question is really asking for is whether or not you understand what it means um, for a triangle to have an altitude. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to um, draw myself an equilateral triangle, and I'm going to go through each one of these okay, to demonstrate. Uh, so I have an equilateral triangle. And by drawing an altitude is, what that means is I'm taking a, um, from a vertex, I'm dropping a line down to the opposite side, such that it will form a 90 degree with the opposite side. And what we're doing here, we're doing this to all three vertices. And if we do this for an equilateral triangle, we end up with this point here. It just so happens that uh, the altitude is also the median of an equilateral triangle, so what this ends up being is this is also a centroid, right? But the centroid, uh, in this case here, or the intersections of the altitudes here, do not land on one of the triangle's vertices. We want to know what happens when the altitudes actually lands on one of the vertices of the triangle, and and then to justify what kind of triangle that is. That's, that's the objective of this question. I have to admit, this is a rather tricky question. Uh, there, for, for those of you who are very knowledgeable, okay, of uh, what happens when we have intersections of altitudes, this is like, like maybe a two-second problem. For the, but for the rest of us who are trying to go through this um, using a little bit of an intuition, it'll take a little time, okay? So bear with me here. If I have an obtuse triangle, so what is an obtuse triangle? An obtuse triangle is a, a triangle with a, a, an angle that's greater than 90, right? So here I have an obtuse triangle. So I can draw an altitude here like so. And I can draw an altitude here like so. Okay, and I can draw an altitude over here like so. So for a, an obtuse triangle, okay, it will look something like this. The altitudes are going to intersect outside of the triangle there. So, and it doesn't land on one of the vertices. So that wouldn't work, right? Uh, let's do an acute triangle. An acute triangle is where all the angles are less than 90. So I have an acute triangle here. So again, I draw 90. And then here I draw a 90. Whoops. And I, again, draw a 90. Okay, and again, it, it lands somewhere um, not exactly on um, the uh, a, a vertex of the triangle, but somewhere inside. So that doesn't work. That leaves me with just a right triangle now, right? So now I want to draw a right triangle. And if you look at this, right? From the vertex here, I drop a line down. So this line is, in fact, an altitude. The base here, draw a line. This base is also an altitude, which leaves me with the last line over here. This is also an altitude. So this last point right here is the common point where all the altitudes intersect. So the only one that makes sense is a right triangle.